Astronomers have detected millions of signals from an intelligent civilization. Okay, was this QAnon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of bearing the lead to hook the listeners and the viewers. Okay. Um, but no, it's very, very interesting. So stay with me because I've always been interested in alien life. Like, did, uh, did you go through those phases where you wanted to, like, know there was aliens and you'd look at the stars and hope you'd see a UFO and stuff? Um, so no, um, <laughs> always look for shooting stars. And I did kind of, like we've talked about before, get mind blown in Men in Black when they're like, you're in a marble. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, astronomers have tools to scan the skies, and by skies I mean into the universe for different frequencies that would indicate intelligent life. So they've they've done that for some might call it a telescope. A, well, not just a telescope, like uh, satellites and stuff that you would actually read to listen for signals, right? True. To hear and see if there are similar types of like radio frequencies coming towards Earth that would indicate from another sun or planet that there was other life that clearly created these frequencies okay uh, because obviously there are lots of different frequencies on earth the sun and light is all frequency but there's certain frequencies that are very specific we believe to intelligent life. 5g to, to have frequency. like created um, okay okay so these are called techno signatures and so you lost me i'm kidding <laughs> and the amazing thing is that they can be detected from thousands of light years away so we can pick up these techno signatures so if there was alien life a th like you know 40 uh, like light years away or a thousand light years away mm -hmm. and they were releasing radio waves we would be able to pick those up and so okay. that's what we're looking for as the human species with the help of astronomers maybe so even a recently, radio telescope okay. <laughs> recently they ran a huge scan across the galaxy homing in on 31 sun-like stars and they detected over 26 million techno signatures okay is your mind blown are like, you like, is this a conspiracy theory? I think okay. so, but... Here's the switcheroo. Okay. Here's the bait and switch. <laughs> Every one of those signatures was generated on Earth. So those were signatures that would have been projected out from Earth from, like, so... Oh, my God. Why? So, so they reflected back? <laughs> no, no, we picked them up from out in... Uh, yes, basically, it's like we have lots of devices, whether it be radios, microwaves, satellites, that create this frequency range that we're trying to pick up to also understand if there is oh so we're like going life. so far into space and being so, like oh whoops that was us this <laughs> yeah so it was interesting because at first the algorithm immediately knew that 99.884 percent were anthropogenic radio frequencies so that means like we humans created them hmm. but that left still like forty thousand. then they went through another series of tests and realized okay we can confirm that these have also been created from earth and cool. then they had five thousand left and ultimately they confirmed that these were all made by humans um, and That's basically cool. to confirm or to explain how they know, how would they know it's from aliens? They said, if a signal is detected in multiple directions on the sky, we can be extremely confident that it's uh, anthropogenic. An extraterrestrial signal from an emitter at an interstellar distance would be detected in only one direction. Oh, interesting. It's like, I obviously don't understand the full breadth Imagine of it, they're but... like, oh, we found it. And then it's just like, it's like, it's like one of your texts to your mom yeah, or something. Exactly. Like, and just like, what is it? 